everybody. It's Bold Live. It's, uh, well, we are live. It's December 17th, 2021. Uh, are you ready for the holidays? I don't know about you, but I woke up today and, like, I'm ready for Christmas. Like, I'm feeling the holiday spirit. I didn't really feel the holiday spirit until, well, last night. I don't know if you follow a lot of the bold and beautiful actors on their social media account. We had the big bold and beautiful uh, holiday party, um, which we had not had for two years. So you can imagine it was a lot of fun to finally get to hang out and see everybody. Um, and so today I'm very excited because we are going to have Krista Allen, who plays Dr. Taylor Hayes Forster. Or Hamilton Hayes Forrester. I don't know. We're gonna have wait, we're all it's all gonna start in three, two, one. Boom. Welcome to the Bold and Beautiful. Hi. I'm gonna be so like I said, we we had our party last night. Hey everybody, hi, thank you for coming in. Um normally I will drink coffee out of my bold and beautiful mug, but I might be drinking Gatorade. Just saying, you know, gotta gotta hydrate a little bit. So that's that's what I'm drinking here my Gatorade. I hope you all have a beverage too and, you know, sit back and enjoy uh, today's show. Um, we're going to, Krista told me earlier, she really wants to hear your questions and hear what you have to say about Taylor and the bold and the beautiful and everything. So we're going to get right to the phone lines uh, pretty quick here on Bold Live. So when I we do open the phone lines, um, just want to remind everybody, please, be be turn your turn your computer down if you're watching it on your computer or a tablet or whatever turn that down because we don't want to hear the feedback be listening for me to say hello and please say your name uh where you're calling from and get to your question because I'm sure we're going to have a lot of questions I see there's a lot of you already uh watching this live so it's going to be exciting um we are we are building our subscribers. It is building rapidly, and I thank all of you. The more subscribers we have, the more episodes we're going to be putting on YouTube. So thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. This is a channel for you, and um, we want to make it. We want to make it uh, as as know, as bold and as beautiful as possible. I mean, how many times do you hear that one, right? Um, so. Krista is in our green room. I see her. She's there. She's ready to go. Um, we're also going to have super fan Matt Hanvey stop by. And he's going to kind of just, I mean, for some of you who are new to the Bold and Beautiful, maybe you're not familiar with the history of Taylor. So he's going to come by and uh, kind of give us a kind of a starter kit on uh, the character of Taylor. Um, Matt, and if, Matt is a very, very funny guy, but also knows his bold and beautiful. Um, I'm looking at all of you guys on there. It's good to see all of you. Thank you for coming back and joining in. And um, yeah, I hope I hope we can, um, uh, you know, answer all your questions. And uh, I think we're, I think we're, we're getting our numbers up there. So we're good to go. Um, hey, Antonio. Hello. Hey, Diamond. Mystic Shadows. All right. Very cool. All right. Well, uh, let's get the show started. So please, for the first time on Bold Live, please welcome Krista Allen. Hey, hey Krista. What's going on? I'm so happy to be here. Hi, everybody. Um, this is Krista. How are you? <laughs> yes, Krista. It's our new tailor. Yes. And you have yes. been killing it. You've been doing an amazing job. I mean, it's so great to have you part of the Bold and Beautiful family. And thank you. I mean, it's so I'm great so to get to know to you. Be here. It's so cool. It's so cool. We have so much fun, don't we? We do. Now, I, so uh -oh. there's a, am, are you, you're going out or am I? Yeah, you're going out a little bit. It happens. We just did a test okay. literally five minutes before we started and it worked. So I'm going to close you out and have you come back. Okay, I would. Oh, really? You want to try the link again? Yeah, because you're. It's a. Uh, it's not smooth. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. The yeah. same link that you sent. No, I'll send you a new one. one. I'll send you a new okay, one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Third. The third link. Okay. 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 All right. Well, you know, you watch the show, Mona. That's what happens. Okay. That is, you know, bold live. It wouldn't be bold live without something, right? Um. Hey, Candice. Oh yeah, maybe maybe a different room where she is, but we just tested it and it worked. Um, 
I might I might have an idea why it didn't didn't work, but let's try this again. Okay, so you're back. Yes. Okay, good. We got it. Can mm. you hear me? You know what? I think what I'm gonna do is, Matt, can you drop off out of the green room and I'll send you a link to come back in a little bit because I think maybe sometimes that messes up the Wi-Fi. So I Matt, love Matt. I can't wait to see Matt. <laughs> yes, I know. All right, so he's gonna drop off and then um, I think that might help the Wi-Fi situation. Yeah. Let's see. And he's still there. Hi, yeah. Tina. I'm saying hi to Tina. Hi. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Yes, uh, this is Taylor. This is Krista's real hair color. Yes. All right. Matt, are you still there? I don't think he's there. Hold on. I'm bringing him in. Okay, he's gone. All right. Did that fix it? He's gone. Hi, Kyle. Yes, Mona from Montreal. We love her. She, she's, uh, I know, a technical glitch free season two. Well, Thanks. you know, we try, we try, we try. Um, I, so, I, I want to yeah. get, a, I want a better connection. Let's see. Um, Is it really, I'm literally next to, the reason I chose this room to do this in, um, I'm, you know, because it's where our modem is. Oh, okay. I think I so, fixed, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're just gonna we're gonna go on. We're gonna pile on through this. Um, so, what have you been up to this week, Krista? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I tell everybody that I was really sick and it was really scary? Yeah. Oh my god, it was so scary. I thought I had COVID, and it, I, it was like I was it was scary. I didn't have COVID, but I thought I did, and. Um, so that was really scary. Didn't make it to the Christmas party and that really sucked, but. That's why I, I mean, just tell the fans, that's why if you don't see Krista in any of the photos, it wasn't because she didn't really want to be there and party with us. It was just out yeah, of safe, health and safety. It, it was really out of, it was really out of safety. I work with a bunch of different shelters and a bunch of different things. And I was kind I thought, you know, I thought I might've been exposed to COVID. So there, and then I started not feeling good. So just to be safe, you know? Well, yeah, and we actually, um, we pushed some of your scenes to uh, next year because last yesterday was our last production day of the year. So I we know. will pick those scenes up in January. But hey, that's what we do. You know, it's all good. Yeah, and can we go ahead and just let everybody know this is also a, a thing. Everybody has been obviously letting me know that I should get rid of the wig like somehow that's been I haven't heard thing. I haven't heard this. I haven't you heard haven't heard this. it yet? No. Did you know that I was wearing a wig? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I was wearing a wig. <laughs> so guys, listen, here's the deal. And I just wanna we I think it's been such a hard thing because I think some people think that I actually would that I'm like choosing to wear a wig because I think it looks beautiful. Right. Um so before, right when I got cast for this part, my hair was a short blonde pixie. It was like, it was like, it, it's been growing, right? But it was blonde. And we went in, mm. I started working within what? I think it was a week, within a week I was on set, yeah. on, you know? So we didn't have time. And I had to take my hair back from blonde to dark brown. And so we needed a little bit of time. So we thought, let's do a wig. That'll be great. And I had done a wig on the audition that I had just got off of Amazon because I was like, well, my hair's <laughs> blonde <and> short. <laughs> I'll just do a wig. So we were all like, that'll be awesome. And it just didn't work, right? And we tried a couple of different ones. And yes, we even tried one in the same set of scenes. <laughs> we didn't mean to. Did you all notice that? Or maybe not. Uh, I, I, I've seen, I've seen side by side screenshots of people going, what is happening? It's dark here. And it's like 10 inches longer and kind of lighter. And it, uh, yeah. So anyway, none of this was at some point, it's all going to be something really funny. Uh, <laughs> I think right. it is funny. But, but the, the funniest part, I guess the funniest part yeah. for me is, is how people don't understand that I, I like we know I know we know that the wig is bad. 
<laughs> we know right. we've been trying so hard. It's not for lack of trying. It's it, whatever. Wigs are hard, I guess. I don't know. Right. Well, I mean, it. it you're, we we wanted the audience to connect, uh, and, and 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 likewise, and you too. You know, you really wanted to transition and you know look like Taylor, but. As, yeah. as once we once we started shooting, we realized we want we want Krista's take on things. So um, yeah. it's going to be exciting, and then you know, it, is, it is, and it's really it's such a it's 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 so cool. But anyway, we get to when I come back. I this is this is this is going to be this is my hair, which is going to be incorporated into all of our scenes, and then you guys will never have to look at a wig again. There Ever. you go. That's it. Ever. No more. That's it. Unless, you know, it's for something else. <laughs> I don't <Yeah>. know. <laughs> All right. Well, so that so that's it. So I I don't imagine we'll get any more comments or questions cuz this is the first I've heard about this wig thing. This is the first thing I've heard about it. But um Wait, well, you're you're serious? You're not. You're you're joking. You're joking. Okay. Well, well, you know. <laughs> we, we <laughs> But I, I just have to say, uh, Jennifer commented that she loves your energy. Your energy is amazing, is what she said. So that Jennifer, you thank you. Krista does have amazing energy. When she came into audition, it was just like, there she is. That's that's Taylor. It was so awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That was the. I actually I have a picture that I haven't posted yet, and it's after I was with you and Ed and Jackie, and I came in and I did my chemistry read and. You were filming and the, the whole thing. It was like, it was, it was and I, I left and I couldn't get, I was like, the, I couldn't get the smile off my face. Um, and when I walked into the, when I walked into CBS to meet Christy Dooley, the casting director, um, I was waiting, I was waiting for, for Christy and, but I checked in and she said, hi, she was like, she was like, what do you, uh, you know, what's your name? What do you do? You know, what are you here for? And I go, my name's Krista Allen and I'm here to get a job today. <laughs> and she was like, oh, I yeah. like the way you're thinking. I like this. And I was like, I'm getting a job today. <laughs> I'm getting this today. And she was like, I love it. You're getting it. And so me and the security guard were both down there going, I'm getting it. She was like, you're getting it. So anyway. It was a little good mojo there. That that is awesome. And like you, <laughs> and then there's a there's an awesome story about how you actually uh were on the bold and beautiful years ago in a very small part, but that was your first job in the industry. Yeah, in my very yeah. In my very first job. And I auditioned for that job and I came in and had no idea what I was doing and didn't know what sides were, sides like the thing I didn't I I'd never auditioned. And I ended up getting this, I, I I read for this part. I let everybody go before me because I didn't know what I was doing. And I read and I this was back when we didn't have pay phones. I mean, we didn't have a cell, oh, cell phone. phones. Oh, right, I right. I went across the street and I called no. my the person, this man on a pay phone on the corner of Fairfax and Beverly. Oh, wow. And he said, how do you think you did? And I go, I don't know. I was so nervous. I was so nervous. And I and he goes, you got the job. Oh. <laughs> and I start jumping up and down on the corner of Fairfax and Beverly going, I'm an actress. Oh my gosh, oh my I'm gosh. an actress. And then I came and I looked directly into the camera and that was <laughs> that for the recurring role. So. Well, you got to start somewhere and we're glad, that, <laughs> we're glad you're back. So. I was Glad to. We've got a lot of callers on our uh, hotline here, the fan line, and I know you want to talk to them. So are you ready for this? I do. I, I yes, please. Let's do it. Hello, uh, welcome to Bold Life. Say hi to Krista. Hi. 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 What, what's How your are name? You? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Frankfurt, New York. What is your name? My name is Gina, and uh, I do want to say that um, I did notice about the wig, but I think that besides that, you you would play a good part of Taylor. And um, my question is, did you have to watch any previous shows before um, you came on to play Taylor? I chose to, for sure. I mean, even when I read with Jackie and I did the chemistry with Jackie, I wanted to know who Jackie was. I, knew, I wanted to know who Steffi was, not Jackie. I wanted to know who Steffi was. I wanted to know what our relationship was and, and all of that. So 
I yeah, I mean it's it's very important. Um, this character specifically, um, you know, she was created impeccably uh, by Hunter, and she was uh, she's been just this she's been around for a long time, and you guys know her very well. And there's certain elements to her that are, are really important that I, it's not like I'm creating it from scratch. Somebody else has laid the groundwork for years and done such an amazing job. And I wanted to do that justice. So yeah, I did. I watched and I studied. That's great. Uh, well, Gina, thank you so much for calling. You have a good weekend. Yeah. I have one uh, thing to tell you first. Oh, Yes. Um, my my thing is, um, I was watching uh, Cobra Kai comment on Facebook, and they showed a picture of Deacon and Hope there, and they said that that was a great picture, like as a Cobra Kai thing. Mm. And I said, Oh my God, that's both in a beautiful life. I said, That's I saw that, and I'm like, Oh, that's cool. So another person said that uh, they watch both lives too. So mm. I think that's great. I just, you know, wanted to tell you about that in case you didn't see it, but it was on my Facebook. I didn't, I didn't, Gina from Frankfurt, but um, try to send me a link if you can on my social media. Okay, I'll try to do that. I'm not good with uh, all that stuff, but I will okay. get somebody to help me with definitely. And you're doing a great job, so I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. And I'm not out to dinner uh, tonight. I uh, watched my daughter play basketball, but I'm in the car, but I made sure I turned my Bluetooth off because I'm like, I'm not missing this for nothing. <laughs> so thank you very much for all that you guys do. I'm going to keep watching till the day I die. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Gina. Thank you. Oh, you're right. welcome very much. Uh, Try to send the link. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Well, that was awesome. All right. Let's is on the phone line. Hello, hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, yes, I'm Lou from New York. I've called in before. Hi, yes, Casey Lou. again. Hi. And hi, Krista, how are you doing? Been a fan of yours for years. I'm in my uh, mid-40s, so you're part of my pop culture. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I would be, that's right. Yeah, which, which is great. Uh, hope you and your son and family are doing well. And. Uh, I have a question for you. Go for You're it. You're welcome. Uh, I don't know if this question was asked because I've been on hold. So it's a multitude. So wh whatever one you want to take, it's all related. Uh, you have taken on a very popular leading role with decades of history. When you started playing Taylor, what techniques did you use to identify with Taylor and become her in your scenes? Also, was it difficult to portray her in your first few scenes? And what do you feel is the biggest obstacles you faced in portraying Taylor? Whatever you want to Lou, answer. Lou, this know, is like a 60 you know. minutes question. You're very... In, you no, know, I know. Whichever one gender. you want to take. You know what I mean. Whichever one you want to take. Okay. You know what? Which one, Sorry. Which, one, which, which one is the most that you... Wh what are you most uh, I guess the in? I guess the, the first one. You know, uh, when you started playing Taylor, what techniques did you use to identify with her? and become her sort of in your scenes or relate to her? You know, I'll tell you this, you know, as far as casting with Casey and mm -hmm. Ed, you know, and me going in and, and Brad and, and, and everybody and how this process goes, you know, for the most yeah. part, whenever I was even up for this role, I had an innate quality of this character mm. already. Um, so mm. I, I don't want to, you know, there was an innate Quality. And I think one of those innate qualities would be there's a, a vulnerability um, mm. and there is also a, um, a there's strength um, and, you know, all these all these different th these different qualities. Right. That um, mm. you know, certain people play certain parts because they they emanate a, 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 a certain characteristic, a certain quality, a certain. Yeah. A certain, like a kinship. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. And so for me, you know, uh, to be able to, to for, for me to be able to just, just, just know that that's what they were looking for. And that's at the core of me. I think I will always be, uh, you know, have vulnerable, vulnerable qualities, but also be very strong. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. I think through everything that Taylor has gone through with the history that I was learning about her, um, you know, I, you know, 
at the at the beginning there was there was a much sweeter and she is very sweet but she's also mm-hmm. she's grown up she's lived a life she's had a lot of things happen and she's a lot more cautious now and i think yeah um you know but of, of course she's still madly in love with ridge and and she <laughs> yes and that's going to be that's what part of this show is right um that that, yeah. that and and so it's it's being able to bat, uh, uh, find all those all of those different things and and play with them and also her love for her family which is so important to her um especially at this point in her life so it it was really putting for me it was putting in all of the most important things in in what Taylor wanted and then mixing them in with what I already was bringing to the table and seeing what mm-hmm. happened. And, and I'm still learning. Uh, I'm still learning, you know, um, as, as I'm going, I, I'll keep learning um, as I keep going. But that, that was probably, does that answer your question? Yes, very, very much so. Very well said. All right, Lou. Well, thank you so much. I got to get to some other callers, but you, you have a good weekend. Okay, thank you guys, and I hope you last very long on the show, Krista, and uh, Rome wasn't built in a day. You're going to do great. I wish you, you well. You. Happy holidays. Happy Take holidays. Care. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so Krista, I want to bring in Matt Hanvey right now. Yeah! So, so yeah! You, you've only talked to him on social media? You've not met yes, him? Yes, like... I, I haven't met him yet. I'm so excited. Okay, well, Matt, get in here. Now. Matt, meet Krista. <laughs> Krista, Matt. Hi. <laughs> I'm so happy. I just told Casey I was fangirling out right now. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good, good to meet you, you finally. <laughs> you too. I'm so happy. Uh, sorry. Go ahead. I uh, no, I just I hope it's not too loud. I'm outside right now. So uh <laughs> No, no, not at all. Uh, um, you, you sound great, Matt. So Matt, you have some sort of like uh uh, major, uh, you know, uh, defining moments for Taylor that people need to know. Well, about. um, <laughs> there's so much with Taylor, but, uh, let's see. She came on as an oncologist for Caroline, Ridge's first wife. Um, but then she decided to pursue psych- or psychiatry and psychology. Uh, so she gave that up, but it was really interesting because it's like Taylor comes in when Ridge's wife's dying. Taylor and Rich's first scene is Brooke and, uh, and her telling Rich about Caroline dying. So there was a lot of stuff set up right from the beginning that it's kind of cool that it's played out for decades. You just, so, you just did that in um, one of your clips the, like, the other day. You just we, Yesterday, you made an amazing clip yesterday <laughs> that had so much information in it. Casey, I wish you could play it. It was oh, so good. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, but go check out Matt Hanvey's social media, uh, Soap Opera Jest, or, you know, and uh, you'll see a lot of his clips. They're a lot of yes. fun. But, so, and wait, yeah, you're really so starting at Taylor, the beginning Taylor's here, Matt. You're, stuff, you're, 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 going, you're going way back to the beginning here. Well, that, okay, that's the beginning. But the other, the other big points is, uh, let's see, Ta- Taylor has been married to five different men. Uh, total. That's nothing. Um, Ridge, Ridge twice. There's been Prince Omar. There's been Whip and Nick uh, and Blake before we Monte, first saw Taylor. And Monte, <laughs> Mon, Monte, Monte, what's that? What is Oh, that? Morocco? <laughs> no, no. Hold on. Uh, Maroney. Maroney. Oh, Nick oh. Maroney. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nick Maroney. Yep. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yes, because and, uh, I'm Dr. Taylor Hamilton Hayes Forrester, Rashid Forrester, Moroni Jones, Princess of Morocco. <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> That's impressive. That's uh, yeah. Taylor, Mother of uh, dragons. Wait, I know? just have a question here, Matt. Did we dress alike for Bold Live, or what's happening? I don't know. We, you, I, I. We both have a like a black shirt and a gray sport coat on. This is uh, we look like twins here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. We we coordinated. The we, guys coordinated for <laughs> hilarious. Okay. Uh keep going. Keep going. Um, okay. Taylor's had some uh some mishaps, kind of, some bad things. She accidentally ran over and killed Darla. Um, and then she shot Bill, of course. So Taylor has done a few a few bad things in her life. Um so she she's did not shoot Bill because she thought that he did terrible things to her daughter right yes i mean ridge it, she, yeah you were also in love with brooke's uh son oldest son 
Yes, Taylor and Rick did get involved mm -hmm. um, for a time. Uh, Taylor and Brooke technically share a child. <laughs> Taylor carried Brooke's baby uh, <laughs> with Nick. Uh, we don't discuss that. that <laughs> I love that storyline so much. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I don't. I don't. Well, that's because Bridget put the wrong egg in. Yeah, mm -hmm. the wrong, the wrong egg. The egg. Did you get, I mean, that uh, actually happened in L.A. I know that was crazy i mean it's fun on a soap opera but then you feel bad when you see something like that actually happen oh in real my life. god like, um <laughs> yeah that, yeah yeah it's it's different when it happens in real life <laughs> yeah. Yeah. ultimately though i mean taylor was always the moral compass um you know people called her a hypocrite but stephanie put that moral compass on her i i would say taylor i don't think taylor thought as highly of herself as people acted like she thought of herself if that makes sense yeah um okay well matt but, I, my question for you is what do you hope you hope for taylor what is your hope for taylor what is your christmas wish my christmas wish for taylor well i just want you know taylor to be happy and you know get back get back to her work and just you know be stable i mean i always loved rich and taylor together but i don't want her to get hurt you know so i don't know where i want that to go or not but i just want taylor to be oh. Taylor to be good. <laughs> hmm. Just to be so good. We'll, we'll see. Well, I just I just want her to be in a good place. I want oh, drama to place. happen around her, but I just want yeah. her to be like with herself in a good a good spot. Well, she did all right. that so, that missionary work, so you know. I know, right? She's a <laughs> and since we were doing the Taylor starter kit, I did pick up, just so you know, I did pick up uh from the store earlier. Oh my gosh. Um a Taylor Hayes. You know, it's been popular. <laughs> oh my god, that is amazing. Matt, you're bad. You're bad. Oh god, and, no, but if it so Taylor's had a lot of wigs over the years. So when she first came back from the dead, she had the short curly one that Gladys, you know, gave her. Right. Um, right. When you're she right. came back from yeah. the dead the second time, she had the one with the bangs, you know. That's part of Taylor's character, actually. So I'm I'm loving it. I think fans are having fun with it. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> You're hilarious. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh my God, that is so funny. Well, Matt, <laughs> thank you so much for coming by. And um, and I'm glad you you met me. I could make this, uh, this fan meeting. I know. After. I'm glad we finally, we finally met. <laughs> I, I know. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And yes, I hope, I hope we get to go get coffee sometime too. <laughs> All right. Well, I will be enjoying the re watching the rest of this. So, uh, All right. Well, you have a good yeah. weekend, Matt. We'll talk later. Bye, Matt. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right. He's the best. That's hilarious, I, though. I adore him. He's, he's, he's yeah. I've gotten so much of my uh, history lessons just from, like, yeah, he's been awesome. So <laughs> I could gush about Matt for a yeah. while. All right. Brilliant. Hey, hi. Welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, how you doing, Casey? This is T. How you been, man? Hi, T. Say hi to Krista. Hi. Hey, Krista. How you doing? Hi. Did you say your name was T? Yeah, I did. It was okay. Very hi, easy. T. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> hey. Uh, first, I would like to wish you both a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I believe this is the last live during the holiday break. It so is. I hope everybody have a amazing holiday. And, uh, Thank in their you. 2021 greatly yeah and casey congratulations because your bola channel has been amazing in 2021 so i also hope you have an amazing 2022 Thanks, with your Judy. channel thank you and i well i really didn't have a lot of questions because uh krista you bet i followed you for several years and you were also in one of my favorite episodes on one of my favorite series i don't know if you remember or not I'm it sure was I uh did. Smallville. Of course. You yes, did Desiree, episode of Smallville. Yeah, yeah Desiree. It was him. absolutely yeah. amazing. <laughs> well, you so, uh, yeah. Well, T, thank you so much. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Krista has quite the resume. Um, and uh, we'd have to do a whole bold live on just that at some point. <laughs> <laughs> well, T, thank you exactly. so much for all your uh, well wishes, and we hope you have a good holiday season as well. 
I will. And once again, thanks for having me on. Have a good time, guys. All right. Thank we'll you, see you. Steve. Bye. Happy um, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Hi, welcome to Vold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, my name is Sky. Um, I'm calling from Oklahoma. Hey, Sky. Hi. Hey. Um, so yeah, I got to write an article about you, which was really cool. Um, That's you? I head. thought it might be. Yes. Oh my gosh, Sky, you're amazing. That was such a beautiful article. You're such a good writer. And I so appreciate the support. It was amazing. Thank you. You're Thank so you. good. You're such a good writer. We were like really excited um, because me and my editor, we talked about it like probably like um, almost a year ago. We were like, oh, you know, we'll be good as Taylor Krista. And so when it happened, we were just like freaking out. So I was like, I got to write an article. I got to do something. And you literally floated in and I'm like, where we just was like, I'm watching every day looking at it. Like, oh my God, I'm just here for the Krista scenes. I need to see them all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, oh God, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. But my you. question was, um, like you, how do you just like, how do you feel like having all this insane chemistry with everybody? Like you actually have inappropriate chemistry with the guy that plays Thomas and also Finn. I was like, uh... <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to feel this Wait way. a minute, what? <laughs> now, what's this about Thomas? She has inappropriate Wait. chemistry with him. I'm sorry. <laughs> they we froze for a minute. Oh. All right. Well, I have, I have you guys, go, go back and watch that. I'm not sure. But They have inappropriate chemistry. It's insane. We were all watching like, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to feel this way, but here it is. What the, the the inappropriate? All I heard was that I have really great chemistry with everybody, and sometimes inappropriate chemistry with Thomas <laughs> and Finn, and the guy that plays Finn. You and Tanner. Oh my God, we were all watching the scenes yesterday, and we were like, uh, ooh, <laughs> this is I don't hard. Know. I don't think. I guess I don't see it that way. Listen, I have a son who's almost twenty five. I, this, what you see, like, I think every actor has a lot of themselves that come through, right? And I am a bubbly, uh -huh. loving, I, 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 I am, I am, I, I love people and I, and I, I don't know. And I think, and I think that is maybe something that is coming out that I'm genuinely excited, like meeting Finn. Um I, I'm not as uh, reserved, I guess. It, soap acting is a lot different. Yeah. <laughs> than, oh, it's than, great. Than um, <laughs> other types because of the beats. And there's com like mm -hmm. com acting is different than uh, dramatic acting. There's beats. And soap opera is the same kind of thing. And maybe, I don't know. How do you think, did, did it look like, I, I don't know. Now, did, Casey, what do you think? I I have to go back and I'm not sure what she I'm not I don't know I you know I maybe you're maybe you're seeing something there that uh, I don't know uh, but no I, they look great together we it's not bad it, it looks they look really great together we're just like oh we my don't god want to go uh, there right no 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 but no. but I will say like you 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 instantly have good chemistry with. Um, with uh, uh, Torsten and uh, the oh, scenes yes, definitely. with uh, with Catherine Kelly Lang with Brooke. So I'm. Well, I will say that after I had my when the the first day that I had my scenes with Kimberlyn, she was like, I don't know if, if I I'll just say I'll just say she's like, well I, she, basically say I, I shouldn't say <laughs> never mind never mind like I was flirting with her. <laughs> you know what I mean? But she said it, <laughs> In a different, more vulgar way that was hilarious. So I like, but yeah. And any anything you say here, don't worry, it stays here. Nobody's gonna see it. That's good. So <laughs> no, no. But yeah, um, yeah. She was like, I don't know if you're mad at me or if if you want to fuck me. But <laughs> basically, that's what she said. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I said. So I said it here. You just said I could. Um, anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, this is the this is the most <laughs> candid, bold live. Um, I, no, uh, you just you you just said it. So yeah. just there said you go. It. All right. Uh, well, Sky, thank you for calling. Okay, it was nice talking to you, Krista. Right. Okay, you thanks, too, Casey. Sky. All right, okay, we'll I'll, talk I'll to you later. You on Twitter, All and right. we'll laugh about this moment. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hello. Welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where hey. are you from? Hey, Sacramento. 
in the house. This is Rebecca from San Clemente. (laughs) Yep. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Do I I do I I know you from Twitter? No. Oh, okay. From Bold Live, I call in every week. Oh, yeah, so she's you're... sort of she's she's kind of like a, a a regular guest here on Bold Live. Oh, I see. Yep. I... Okay. Yes. So, what do you, you have a question for Krista? Yes, I don't really know who you are that well, but I've been researching and um, what part did you play on Baywatch? And my second question is, were you nervous or calm about coming into the role of Taylor? Uh, I was Jenna Avid. I played the on Baywatch. I played Jenna Avid. Super fun. I was the, I was the, I was the villain. It was great. I had so much fun, and I got to work with Jason Brooks. I don't know if you know anything about Days of Our Lives, but Jason was on Days of Our Lives with me as well. And Jason and I got to work together as love interest um, on the show. Um, but that was really fun. So that was Baywatch. I played Jenna Avid. Super oh. fun character and. Uh, the other question was, was I nervous about coming in to play Taylor? Is that what you asked? Or yeah. You Were you in? nervous or calm or? Um, I think I was excited. And I think that kind of, go- I, I think I was excited. And, um, you know, I, you know, anytime you're stepping into something, an unknown, right? You're, you're stepping into an unknown territory. There's always a apprehension or a, Hmm, I, I, what could happen? So for me, it was all about how do I want to see it? How do I see it coming out instead of allowing any fears or any, you know, insecurities to come in? Uh, it was more, you know, it's, it's kind of like the theory of uh, thinking uh, like the, if, if you're going to be, if you're going to be, if, if you're, you're supposed to be somewhere at 10 PM and you're running late and you have five minutes to get there, um, but you already feel like you're gonna be late, and then but you still end up getting there by ten o'clock. You've like wasted all this time, right? And then you get there and you're stressed out and you're frustrated, and you 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 made it on time. And that's kind of the same theory with everything in my life is not mm-hmm. to too much worry into the things of where I'm going because. In in my experience, if I was ever late or thought I was going to be late to something, I'd get there and be stressed out and I wasn't enjoying myself on the ride there or when I got there because I was still stressed out from the ride, but I need to be. And that's kind of how I approach Mm -hmm. everything. And so I just kind of take it as it goes. And it's and um, so with this, there was it was an unknown and I just saw it the way that I wanted to see it. which is exactly how it's been playing out. So yeah. it's been kind of wonderful. Well, Rebecca, th- doing a pr- great thank you, job. Thank you so for far. calling. Yeah. And, and uh, you have a wonderful rest of the year. Yeah, you too. And don't forget everybody to watch Casey tonight on the Hollywood Christmas Parade at 7.30 on okay, the Okay, well, all right, Rebecca. <laughs> oh, to my to be fair, I'm riding in the, in the front seat, but it's really uh, Kimberlyn Brown. <laughs> And um, Andrea Evans, who are in the bold and beautiful car. So we'll we'll talk about Merry the parade, Christmas but that is on everybody tonight. Everybody at bold. All right, bye, Rebecca. That's amazing. Bye bye. Bye bye. You know that was good advice too, Krista. I mean, I really I haven't got a chance to really talk to you anything about other than the show about your character. But like, I like your life philosophy, and I'm sure you have a lot of like like lessons and wisdom that you've that you've learned throughout your um, career in this crazy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it really, that totally. If I could change anything and I could go back and I could, and I could, I could change anything in my life, it would be how much I worried about what people thought about me, mm-hmm. how much I worried about, uh, like, how just, uh, how, just the worried, right? Just worried about things. And yeah. it kind of dawned on me at one point when, uh, it was years ago, but I remember something happened. I go, of course, something bad happened. And I was like, of course. And then I thought, we never say that when something good happens, do we? We never go, something great happens. And you go, of course. Mm-hmm. We say something bad happens. And it's kind of this weird mentality that we have as humans, uh, you know, where uh, we kind of expect the worst sometimes. And so it's been a big thing. Mindset is a huge thing. And I think, um, 
So yeah, when it comes to things like that, it, worry will get the best of many of us. It's not, it's not a fun thing to do. So yeah. to ourselves. Yeah. There you go. So. Um, hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? It's me. It's Candace from Baltimore, Maryland. Hey, Candace. Hi, hi Candace is another super fan who's been a guest on the show many <laughs> times. Say hi to Krista. Hi. Hi, hi Krista. Hi. <laughs> so, hi. So nice to meet you, quote unquote, over the phone. <laughs> you too. So I actually, I was going to plug the Christmas parade as well. That's coming on in a few minutes on the CW. Make sure you guys uh, watch and, and like. Right. Um, here's my question. My question for you, Chris, is what is the best part about being a part of the soap genre because you've been in it three times over hmm. so well, what so like, what does it i mean what does it mean to you hmm. well the first time i can't count it because <laughs> that was the i got fired <laughs> after a couple of shows this, <laughs> the second time the internet wasn't there uh and this right. time this, this one's a totally different one it's a completely different one um so wait, what was your question? I just, I just totally so ADD'd out. So, but what no, you no, you're actually good because you just, you kind of did answer it a little bit because again, when you first started, like you said, it was just a small part. And then of course, I remember you from Days of Our Lives and that social media wasn't around. So I just wanted to know what does it mean for uh, you to be a uh, part of the soap genre, which is the best genre out there. I'm just saying. Uh -huh. It, it, are you saying that? Are you saying that the soap genre is the best? The, the best one it out there. It is the best. Yes. Yes. I think here. Here's here's what I here's what I I see. I'm seeing a lot of people that have literally stood by me uh, for twenty something years because I was Billy on Days of Our Lives. Look, I get teary eyed. They've literally stuck around. <laughs> And it's mm -hmm. such a cool thing because I'm like, thank you so. Look, I literally material. Yeah. It, it's like they're they're back and they're like, I, I, you know, they're still huge fans of the show or huge fans of daytime or just whatever. But these are people that have followed me through 26 years, or you know, 20 with days, you know, 24, 25 years. But it's it's it means so much and it's such a cool thing so i think i think you're right when you say that the show genre is the best definitely you guys are the most loyal mm -hmm. and it can yeah. you know you know it's it's and and you know it, we we are a part of your guys's lives as much as you guys are a part of ours and it's and it's you know we don't have a job without you guys at all like you know okay. and so we don't get to play these characters and do these things. And, and, and for you guys, you're so invested in us emotionally. And, and, and I understand that and I respect that. And so even just me playing Taylor and stepping into that, it's really respecting um, you guys <laughs> and, and wanting to yeah. bring best Taylor forward that I, that I can, that would be as, as authentic as, as I can bring. Yeah, well, you are definitely doing one heck of a job. Um, Thank you so much. Because I, I know, I know, I cannot even imagine, you know, you know, obviously stepping into somebody else's shoes and making your this character your own. And I always say, like a recast, it usually takes time for them to gel in. I'm going to tell you right now, Kristen, you nailed it day one. Thank you. You nailed it. So thank you so much. That's I, off to you. It. Thank you. I was, thank you. It means so much. And I will say it's been really hard with the wig. <laughs> and I, I will say it's yeah, been hard. You know what? I, the, I said I, this in the chat like room. Me, you know, like trying to perform yes. that and knowing that it's not right and, and knowing these things. So just we're, we're on the same page, everybody, <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know what? It's about the performance. Because I, I literally said this. I was like, what wig? I mean, obviously I knew. But it's the performance that counts. Well, thank you. you know? There you go. So. There you go. I well, appreciate you. So thank Can you. Yeah, Candace, thank you so no much problem. for calling in. And uh, you have a great Not holidays. Problem. You too. Be well. Stay safe, guys. Thank I'll talk to you. you. Later. Bye.
I, I'm just looking at all these comments as they're, as they're coming up. I don't know how to scroll back up, but there's been so many people and I just, I, 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 I see yeah, you all. Let's, and, let's read some of the comments. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they, they go. So I, I, there's, oops, I did something wrong. Oh, wait. Um, and we are over 200 of you uh, right now watching this live. Thank you so much for coming in. And if you're new to this and you're just catching it, make sure you subscribe to the Bold and Beautiful channel. Erlin is my friend on Twitter, I think. Yes. Er, er, and there, there's some Twitter There's some Twitter there's, friends on there's here. There's a lot of people, yes. That, uh, yes. And I want to say hi to all of them because, honestly, the people on Twitter have made this so wonderful for me and they've reached out and they've they've just been very supportive um especially through all of the wig stuff I, do you know that there's like actual hashtags about this damn way these uh, these wigs um and it's been it, it, you know they've just they've just been there like sending so much love and um the, you know, they were, you know, Taylor fans before and they didn't, some of them were like, I don't know. And then they gave me a chance and it just, it's kind of a cool thing. So I am super grateful for all of you. And I just wanted to say hi to everybody. So that, well, um, we could do it now. I normally like to wait till later in the show, but I like to no, do something fine. here. It's called roll call where I have the fans type their, the people watching type their name. Um, and, yeah. you, and you say hi to them, like just as fast as you can for, you. for 30 seconds. So fans, if you're watching, go ahead and start, just type your name, no comments, just whatever your name is. And Krista is going to shout out and say hello to you. Um, and we'll, you know, we'll do it for 30 seconds. If you guys are on Twitter, I follow you on my Twitter, Bride of Ashes. Oh, oh uh, wait, Tammy. Oh my gosh, it's going so fast. Well, here we so go. We so now, hi, Kenneth. Yep. And Kenneth. Hi, Kenneth. And Krista, hi Krista, and Kim, and oh, this is the roll call thing. I, this is why you do it at the end, and it's like a good little thing out. Yeah. Amanda, Berlin, I okay, it's going too fast. It's going too fast. All right. Well, well, they they love. I don't know if you can. Can you stop it on your end? No. Well, no. But you know what I should do, actually. Well, we can take another call, but I, I know what I should do, actually, is I should. There's Darlene. There's a chicky, uh, a chicky monkey. There's uh, Elizabeth. Um, uh, there's Bruce. Uh, there's Erlin, who's who's here. There's uh, Can Can. There's Brooke Logan Hater. Um, <laughs> which, she's hilarious. Um, <laughs> And there's Joe Castano and Kyle Baxter and uh, Sally and Adam and Tammy R. Nelson and Hanan and, uh, and Zachary Crabtree. Perfect. And, and, uh, you did it. Did we did soaps it. Soaps and Tara and uh, <laughs> so many. There, there, there's so many of these there's... people. Then Sky is right here. We just talked to her. She was amazing. And she yeah. knows. Uh, there's so many people. Rita. And yeah, there's. Well, thank you. All right. You yeah. did a great job, Krista. You did a great job. I mean, it's, it's, that was a lot. We have a lot of people here watching you. And so just thank you, all you fans. So let's get back to the yeah. phone lines. We'll take a few okay. more a few more questions or a few more callers. Hey, welcome to Bold Life. Say hi to Krista. Hello, Krista. This is Diamond from Richmond, Virginia. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Um, I, d I don't really have a question. I just really wanted to call in and let you know that you're a great actress and that you're doing a great job as Taylor. That means a lot. Thank you. Were you a big Taylor fan before? Yes, I was. Team Taylor all day. <laughs> that means a lot to me. I, I know that, 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 that this has been a... Um, it's been tough for a lot of Taylor fans. You guys have seen her for a long time and all of a sudden she's different. And I know that it's, it's, it's been tough for a lot of you. And you know, it's like, that's, I, I so I, I, I appreciate that. And so thank you. That means, that means a lot to me. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. And I want y'all to have a great holiday. Yes, you too. Well, thank you for staying on the right. phone line and saying hello. That was really nice of you. Have a good, have a good weekend. Uh you too. Bye-bye. All right. Let's Tina see who... group on Facebook dedicated to me. Oh, my God. I love you. Thank hey you. Hey there. Tina. Welcome to Bold Life. Say hi to Krista. Hey. Hi. What is your name? Hey, Krista. It's Bubbles from Twitter. No way! I'm so excited. Oh, my God. 
you all went through. You got through. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that you got I, through. <laughs> I did not think it would happen. So I'm going to be real quick with my question because I know we'll talk on Twitter. Um, yes. So how did you find out about the role for Taylor? Like, did they throw a, a ad in the paper or was it something <laughs> on Craigslist? How did you find out that they were wanting to get a new Taylor? That's a really good question. I got a call. I got a call and uh, I got a call that they were looking for Taylor and uh, Christy Dooley, who is our head of casting, uh, uh, she her and I got on a phone call and um, that was the day I got on the phone with Christy Julie and she wanted to, and I was like, Christy, my hair is blonde and short. And she goes, don't worry about it. She was like, that's what wigs are for. <laughs> and That's and, right. And, and then the next thing I got, a, I, then I got a call that I was meeting, that I was going to have a chemistry with Jackie and that's how it all happened. And that same day that I had the chemistry with Jackie, I got a call saying that I got the part. Amazing. It was amazing. That is so amazing. It was amazing. It was the best day. I, I, I was crying. I really, I crying happy. I was happy. So it was really awesome. Well, we have cried those same happy tears and we are so glad they thought of you and you got that call because you're doing a great job and we love you and we know that you're going to do great. I'm going to, I'm going to hang up so the next person can ask if they can squeeze one more person in. Thank so you so you much and we love you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Bubbles. Bye. 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 <laughs> right. I've never I'm met so somebody named. Never met somebody named Bubbles before. <laughs> she's. Uh, she's. Oh, hello. Uh, I might have to go to the next one. Hello. Hi, Casey. Oh, hey. How's it going? How you been, Casey? I'm good. Say hi to Krista. Hi, Krista. Hi. You, can you turn your computer down? Hello. Okay, I can. Tell me your name again. I know you're from Michigan. I'm Angie. Yes. Okay, Angie. Sorry. Okay, Casey. Say hi to Krista. Hi, Krista. What's your question? Hi. It was so good seeing her. It was different. Yeah. Y'all sound laughing. Okay. Okay, Casey. Okay. <laughs> well, do you have a question? We're running out of time. How is she doing? Does she like it or? I don't know. Do you like it? Is she nervous? Are we frozen? Um. No, it's 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 it's, it's coming in and out. Uh, Angie, I'm gonna have to take you uh take, take you offline, and then um, but Chris is gonna answer your question. Okay. Okay. You have a good weekend. Bye bye. You too. Bye. All right. So bye. I just should I just Angie wanted to check in with you. Do you like it? Okay. What did she want to say? If, if if you're liking it here. Oh, do I like it? Yeah. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Yes, I love it here. I love it. I love it. I'm I'm so happy. I am so happy. That I'm just I feel really really lucky. I really do. Likewise. Okay, so we got time for one more caller here. Let's hope it's a, hope they can hear us. Hello. Welcome to Bold Live. Hello there, there uh, Mr. Casey. Hi. What's your name? Where are you calling from? This is Jerry from Gulfport, Mississippi, once again. How are you tonight, sir? Hey, Jerry. Hi, Doing Jerry. Say, 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 Hi, Miss Krista. Yeah. How are you, my dear? I am fantastic. What's going on? Talk to me. What do you want to know? <laughs> oh, well, oh, I, I, I want to say, Miss Krista Allen, it is such an honor to talk to you this evening because oh. I am a huge, huge fan of your work over the years. I, I'm a big fan. Oh, thank you. Thank you for sticking around all this time. I appreciate it. <laughs> no problem, Miss Miss Krista. But I have a, I have a couple of questions for you. It, it's going to be a, a, a recent question, and it's going to be a throwback question. I'm going to start with the recent. Okay. How was your, how was your first week on Bold and Beautiful as the new tape? Airing or on set? 
Either one, it don't matter. Oh boy. Oh, I just gave my, I just confused myself. I guess, you know what? My first week, my first week on set uh, when I, when I started, that was a lot. We're yeah. having the stuff going on. That was a huge thing. I was really having some really, I was really struggling um, just to put everything together. And there was like a, all, all of that stuff was the, the, the hair, this everything. Well, it was so the hair. It's the, it's the COVID testing protocols. It's, you know, the that, dressing room, the wardrobe. Like, it, and yeah, right. I mean, the first week is is uh, and and you know and it wasn't like Krista just started in one episode. I mean, she was in like eight episodes, so it the was very first day right. I did the photo shoot and the photo shoot. Like, yep, it was just it was there oh, was yeah. just so there was so much and there wasn't much time to prepare. It was like it's the equivalent of this. It's like if somebody was like you know you're a good athlete, right? But you haven't really been working out much, and then the next day somebody goes. You have to run a, uh, an Ironman right now, and you're like, "But I haven't." Pre and they're like, "Go!" And that's what it was like. <laughs> it was like running okay. an Ironman, not training. I got you. I got you. Look, look when I when I when I saw it, when I saw it, uh, uh, last week, uh, last Friday's episode. Look, I I, I looked at it. And I said, "Man, Miss Chris Allen looks amazing on there. She looks good on there." I'm like, I am so happy for her. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You are so welcome. Now, I now I have a throwback question, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna uh, leave leave with this. I because because I know you've been on so many shows, but my but my, my most favorite one that you did was on Lie Lie. On the, uh, all you got to mention is the elevator scene. That's my favorite part. Mm -hmm. Yo, oh, yes, of course. Do you want to do it real quick? Do you want to do it here? Ask me, ask me if I just, ask me if I'm new here. Oh uh, yeah, look, look. I just want, I just wanted to just say. I was gonna. I, 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 I was gonna she was gonna role play with you, Jerry. I was gonna make you do the huh? scene with me because he goes, "Are you new new here?" And I said, "Yeah, I just moved in Monday. How's everybody been treating oh. you?" Oh, Still yeah, nice. So That's I was gonna yeah. yeah, I was gonna run it with you, but yeah. Yeah, anyway. but I, I ain't gonna say the rest <laughs> because I know I already know what happened at the end. Uh, uh, uh got punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He got a slap. He did. He got a yeah. big slap. Oh yeah, slap or oh, I thought it was a punch in the face. <laughs> no, I didn't punch him. I <laughs> yeah. Well, Jerry, thank uh, you so much for calling in. You're more than welcome, yep. Mr. Casey. Okay. And, uh, and, and, Thank and, you, and, and, more, and, many bless, and, and, and many blessings to you, Miss Chris Allen. And I hope oh, everybody have a, 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 I hope everybody have a Merry Christmas and a happy 2022 coming up. Y'all be blessed. Ah, uh, you too. Thank you so much. Well, um, so Krista and uh giving us the opportunity for the fans to all get to know you a little bit more. Um I kind of want to give, we can't give the story away, but kind of a little teaser about what's coming up in our Christmas episodes. Oh, oh, right. wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, a, I, I am still trying to wrap my head around that one. Yeah. I, I just, yeah, no. No, so, I think, I think normally our Christmas episodes are kind of just, you know, uh, not much happens, but this, this Christmas, these Christmas episodes are really good. And I think it's, uh, you know, the, like we have like kind of two parts of Christmas episodes. So I guess, you know, there's going to be kind of a, a, a big moment between two people. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a good, it's a, it's a good holiday, right? I can't say, I, I look, I just, I don't a give any specifics. A big moment between two people. Yeah. We narrowed it. I gave the you details. Can't leave them with that? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Well, okay, but with, with, well, with, you know, with, oh, uh, somebody said it. oh, well, it's already been teased out there. It's oh, it has? Been, oh, yeah, okay. it's teased out there. Oh, oh okay. So okay. they know, yeah, so there's a, it's a uh, Taylor and, and uh, Sheila, so it's good. Yeah, good I'm, I'm, I'm wondering where this is going and I, I literally read the scripts the same way that the fans watch the shows. I am that, I scream at the paper, no, what? Or I cry or I like, yeah, when I'm like going through the scripts and reading it, um, I get as excited watching what's unfolding as everybody else does, so. 
<laughs> well, and um, I don't know if you get a chance to watch today's episode that just aired. I, no, um, I, I just a little, her. just some little uh, production tidbits here. Um, there's a montage at the end. It's Brooke trying to get a hold of Ridge, and then um, you know Ridge shows up at the Cliff House, and 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 there's a moment between you and and Ridge. But uh, there's a song, and the song is called uh, "We Belong." And that's uh, one of the songs that I've written for the show. Um, so it's exciting. I don't know if you guys watched today's episode, but that's, uh, so yeah. So I've, I've written, a, myself co-written a, a many songs with uh, another uh, uh, member of the production company here. And, yeah, I didn't so, know yeah. So when you listen to it, you'll know it came from me. I've, I've written many, many songs. We'll talk more about that later, but I'd oh love, God, to, I really love to write a song for Taylor and Ridge. I've never really written a song that's specific for Taylor and Ridge, so. We'll see. Oh my God. You see that I had no, you do everything. Well, you really do. It's there. There's a lot of us that do a lot of stuff, but um, I know but I you're just, just you're, 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 you know, that the, the thing about you is you're creative, you're, you're a creative executive and you don't yeah. see that. One. You really don't. It's usually executive. It is an executive, right? But you're a creative executive in, in so many ways. And you do, cause you do other things too. That, that you're like a unicorn. Unicorn. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'll take yeah. it. I'd say yeah. you too, Krista. Now, okay, like, and this is another aspect of you. You are a very giving person of your time, and and uh, you volunteer quite a bit. Oh, you mean I do? Well, I, I have, yes, I do. I volunteer a lot. I speak at a lot of different shelters and a lot of prisons and a lot of different places, and mental health and wellness is a huge thing, and teens and at-risk youth, and um, I'm currently right now at one of the shelters that I work with for my uh, for my at risk youth uh, uh, trans youth, and um, so yeah, it's it's a mental health is a, a really big thing, and yeah. and um, so I love I love helping people when I when I can and speaking and doing those things. So it I love it. I don't. My son is out of the house. My my beagle passed away last year. Oh my goodness! Um, yeah, but I, I'm just the reason I'm saying all of this is because I I don't I I love it. It gives me I love being of service, right? And so now I get to do more of it because my you know my son's doing his own thing. I'm not going to get a dog for a little bit, and um, you know I get to help people every day. So it's pretty cool. That well, I wanted people to get to know a little bit about that part of your life and that is really really cool so Thank you. well krista i'm sorry we didn't get to hang out last night at the party but i hope that we'll we we'll have our 35th anniversary party coming up in march so oh my God. that'll be I'm our next so, big party so yes that would be amazing i was so bummed that i missed the very first christmas party because i i wasn't feeling well and it's okay yeah, but I was really bummed because those pictures look so fun on Instagram. <laughs> you guys had a you the guys B turned up. <laughs> the B and B group has a good good time. Well, and I gotta thank our boss Brad Bell. He does, you know, he throws a good good party. Um, yes. All right. Well, Krista, you have a wonderful rest of your 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 day and evening. I will. And, um, uh, we gotta go because the Hollywood Christmas parade's coming on. So gotta let people yeah. go watch that. It comes on at eight o'clock. Um, so if you're on the East Coast, I guess it's on right now. So anyway, okay. all, all right. Well, we'll talk soon. We'll talk later. Thank you for having me, Casey. This was really fun. I love talking to you. Uh, Likewise. I'll talk, Likewise. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you for coming on. I, I thank you so much. All right. We'll see you. All right. Bye. All right. Well, there was Krista, everybody. How great is she? Just, just, just so much positive, fun energy. And um, I'm excited to welcome her to the Bold and the Beautiful family. And I'm glad we got to uh, have a lot of you hang out and chat with her and talk with her. Um, this is, this, we're gonna, I'm gonna have a short after party here because I'm actually um, headed over to uh, Catherine Kelly Lang's uh, boutique, uh, uh, Ben Hart. They're having a little holiday party. So I'm gonna stop by there. So, I would say 
You could probably check that out if you go on um, Catherine Kelly Lane's Instagram or Ben Hart's uh, Instagram, and she's going to do a live there. You could probably watch that uh, in a little bit. They're going to have a party, so that'll be fun. Um, I kind of want to share some, like, this has been a big, okay, not to, like, first of all, thank you for all those fun comments that you guys made, or uh, complimentary comments about the song. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I saw those all, and uh, that was cool of you guys. Uh, I hope to do a show where I can like talk about some of the music that's been on the show. I wanted to do that during the holidays. I'm not going to say, yes, I'm doing it, but if I have free time, I'm going to put it together um, and talk about the music, but that's on the list of things to do. I hope I have time, but there's never enough time. But so first of all, I want to say I've got, um, I wanted to say, so I live in a neighborhood here in uh, Los Angeles called Playa Vista. And I was asked by the uh, editor of the Playa Vista Direct magazine, uh, who also happens to be a former intern of The Bold and Beautiful. Her name's Kamala. She uh, interviewed me for a little article in the Playa Vista magazine. I didn't realize it was going to be um, the cover of the magazine. So, and actually... <laughs> While I was doing this, I got a text message from my neighbor who just said, nice, um, nice article. So, you know, it's, it's pretty funny. But I want to show you this. Here is the here is the Playa Vista Direct magazine. And um, I have a little favor. If you could go on Instagram to the Playa Vista Direct uh, page and just like it. Or if you want to, like, make a comment or something. Uh, but also you read the article. Um, it has all the information about my career. If you're interested about more about how... You know, I got here, but I also talk in the article about um, Bold Life. You know, I said we talk. Well, that's there here. Let me pause that. That went by quick. Go back there. Anyway, I talk a little bit about Bold Life. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's a fun article. But I also want to say tonight is the Hollywood Christmas Parade. And that is going to be on the CW. Uh, I guess right now, if you're on the, the East Coast, eight o'clock. Uh, and it's also going to air local heat locally here in uh la on channel five at um uh on the 19th so check that out i don't know if you guys if you guys follow me on social uh you should because uh i'm a i'm a i am I think i have i'm pretty entertaining uh this is where you can reach out to me or direct message me on instagram casey cass or twitter casey casperzik yes that is a very difficult last name um and I wanted, I wanted to share with you my behind the scenes of the Hollywood Christmas Parade. So take a look at this little adventure I had with Kimberlyn Brown and Andrea Evans. We're, are, where's, the, where's the parade? We're, well. we're ahead of Days. Days is behind us. <laughs> we, we can't let them win. Bold and beautiful. We're going to go bold and we're going to be beautiful. And, and we got Jerry. I had to break down and got myself one of the uh, balloons. until uh, yeah. we're trying to get back to our car. We're stuck here on uh, La Brea with the Days of Our Lives car. <laughs> with the Days of Our Lives car. car. Yes. We got I'm KTLA getting, anchor. I'm getting ready to, to jump out of the car we, and attack the, the Days of Our Lives car. And why? It's just an instinct that I have. Casey, I don't know what it is inside well, of That would be the crossover of all crossovers. That would be.
All right. So that was a little behind the scenes of the parade. It was a lot of fun. Um, and then also, okay. So I'm in the Ply Vista Direct magazine. I, I, I may be in the Hollywood Christmas parade. Don't, don't, I, I don't think you'll see me. I'm just in the front seat of the car. And, uh, did you all, uh, do you guys watch the late, late show with James Corden? He did a, uh, crosswalk, uh, BTS concert. And, um, well, I was just driving back from lunch and I got caught in the concert. So there's, <laughs> there's a, there's a short clip of me. If you go on YouTube and look at the, the BTS crosswalk, the music or crosswalk concert on James Corden, you'll see a little cameo shot of me. So, um, how fun is that? Right. I literally, I'm not a BTS fan, but I guess I am now because they literally did a concert like right in front of my car, like. That was pretty cool. So uh, no, I can't. I don't. I don't. Can't show you the James Corden because um, I don't. I don't know if there's like copyright issues or something, and they might take this video down. So you have to go on YouTube and find it, or I'll try to send out a link. Soap Goddess saw it. She did see the clip. That's awesome. And if you follow me on social media, it's also on there too. Oh, where do you follow me? Oh, well, I'll put it up there again. You can follow me on Instagram at Casey Cass or on Twitter. I like to do a lot of stories. I don't do a lot of posts. I do more stories. And on Twitter at Casey Kasperzik. Um, so, well, that's our last bold live live of 2021. Are you excited for 2022? It's going to be great. Um, I hope, right? I don't know. We'll see. Now we got to be positive, but I know what's going to be great is the bold and the beautiful because Taylor is back. Uh, Krista Allen is uh, our new Taylor and it's, um, we're going to have a lot of fun. Going to have a lot of fun. There's, you know, Brooks got her, uh, her adversary back, right? So there we go. All right. Well, everybody, thank you so much. You guys are the best fans in the world. And I mean that. And I appreciate you guys for tuning in every week and for all your comments. And um, I hope that uh, you all have a wonderful holidays and a happy new year and all that stuff. And you get lots of time with your family and good meals and Christmas cookies and all that good stuff. So, um, that is not that is not the right closing the reel. I just did that on accident. But I want to say to all of you, um, until next time, be bold, be beautiful, and be back next week for nothing because there won't be a bold live. Uh, but be back next year, maybe. All right. Thank you all from all of us at the Bold and Beautiful. Bye bye. So that's it. That is it, Katie. You think she'd know by now that 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 is it. All right. Bye, everybody.